Hi, good day. Continuously cognition furnace of the newest model working video. Please check for more details. New design continuously working 24 hours. Rotary drum cognition furnace. No need build water pool. Using a gas bottle for preheating. Gas for promote the gas burning. Electric ignition burner and controller. Temperature thermometer meter. Controller cabinet. Rotary drum Discharging cooling conveyor Feeding from here and then going to the furnace Discharge here. Now we are preheating the furnace using the gas. Once the temperature reaches, we can feed in the materials, and the materials go into the high temperature carbonization furnace. It will start carbonization at once. And then producing the charcoal belta and flame ball gas. We burn the flame ball gas directly here. This is the big special design carbonization uh, ignition burner. The fire of the preheating here. This is the observation hole. Temperature rise to 240 and now we start the feeding conveyor to feed in the material. This is the feeding hopper. Uh, we not started yet. This is rice husk. Rice husk. After drying. We need feeding the materials to seal the feeding hopper because the inside guys will not go into the furnace. We are using the materials rotating inside to fill to seal to seal the furnace so no air going into the furnace. And after this, it's going rotating to the drum and inside carbonization area. And it's going to, to that end and then this chart here. So we need continuously feeding materials here. Just like this.
and the feeding pot it can be adjust bigger or smaller can be adjust if we make sure the raw material is dry it will go into the furnace and carbonization at, at once immediately because inside is high temperature Rice has raw material. And you can use sawdust, wood chips, coconut shell, agriculture waste, wide range biomass materials, all able to use. After the materials finish carbonization, we just wait for the charcoal coming out here. So when you finish, when you finish feeding, because we need to avoid the air into the system, so we need stop here and then using the material to seal the feeding pot. So no air will go into the furnace, will not go in, into the system. So this is necessary. Rice has charcoal fully carbonized. It's fully carbonized. And it's no smile. It's no smile. It's very clean. Sawdust is not very fun. And now we are waiting for the discharging of taco. And we can burn the flame ball gas here. This is this is extra gas burner, okay? This is the main burner for the furnace heating. This is extra gas burning. So uh, currently inside the furnace, the material is sawdust. And the wood sawdust flame more gas is a lot more than rice has. You can see it. A little yellow, it means it's flame ball and we need ignite. Ignite 
the recycle guys and burn the it will throw there and then burning at the bottom chamber. And we can monitor we can observe the fire here. Here we can observe the fire. You can see it. This is flame board, guys. This is flame board, guys. Produced from the colonization. It's recycled, guys. You can see it, right? This is recycled, guys, at the bottom chamber. This is the extra bell gas, extra bell gas, a burning outside. We can use it uh, for the rotoring drill. This sawdust belter is fully carbonized. You see it? Fully carbonized. Bling, bling, bling. Charming. You can see it? Bling, bling. Sawdust. So when you stop the machine you need stop the fan but keep rotating because the drum is cooling down so that we uh, ensure the ensure the long term service life so we must wait for the drum cooling down then stop the rotating please remember we must waiting for the drum cooling down so uh, every time you stop the machine stop the production we need continue rotating the drum others can be others can be uh, closed and then when we when we wait for the drum cooling down then we can stop everything okay thanks for watching if you interested in more details or uh, you need such a continuously furnace don't hesitate to contact kim bye see you next time